Welcome to the Clemson Bioengineering Department. We're excited you're here. Bioengineering, or sometimes referred to as biomedical engineering, is the engineering discipline that combines biological, chemical, mathematical, and engineering principles and applies them to the design and analysis of biological systems and biomedical technologies. As a bioengineer, you will develop innovative solutions used for the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of disease. Basically, bioengineers use their engineering skills to create innovative technology with a direct impact on human health. Which is awesome, but what does that mean for someone who's pursuing a degree in bioengineering? Where do they end up? Nationally, about half of those with a bachelor's in bioengineering go straight into industry, whether for an engineering role or to do consulting or other jobs. The other half actually decide to pursue higher education with a 35% heading to graduate school for either a master's, a PhD, law degree, or MBA. The other 20% head to medical school since bioengineering undergraduate curriculum can prepare you very well for admission and success in medical school. More specifically, there are four main career routes for bioengineers. The first route is in the medical device and pharmaceutical industry where you could work as a research and development engineer, assist with the manufacturing of devices, or even work as a sales representative. Another route is working for government or regulatory agencies. As someone who provides guidance on medical device development, making sure the devices that we create are safe and effective. You could even get a job at a hospital or a medical center where you could work as a biomedical equipment technician or technical support for a surgical team. Lastly, someone with a bioengineering degree could go on to pursue higher education and focus on academic research in order to become a professor or a fellow someday. The employment growth for bioengineers outperforms the other fields by more than double, and with a bachelor's degree, you can expect a starting salary of around $60,000, which will only increase if you pursue advanced degrees and as you progress in your career. So specifically, where do bioengineers from the Clemson program end up? As you can see, our alumni work for so, so many different companies. Our Clemson family reaches not only across the United States, but across the world. From some smaller local companies such as Polymed in Anderson or Prisma Health in Greenville to large scale global medical companies such as Johnson & Johnson and Stryker. We have connections all throughout the biomedical community all over the world who are so proud to be Clemson alumni and will go out of their way to connect and help you advance your career. So how do our alumni get to be so successful? The Clemson Bioengineering Program provides so many opportunities for its students, and this starts with our top-notch facilities. The Rhodes Engineering Research Center is the main academic building for the bioengineering department on campus. This is where the majority of your classes and labs will take place. But some other facilities include the Biosystems Research Complex, which is used for specialized research, and it is located across from the Hendrick Center, also on campus. The Medical University of South Carolina Clinical Research Facility is located in Charleston, and the Clemson University Biomedical Engineering Innovation Campus is located in Greenville. The latter two buildings are medical centers where we, as the engineers, can interface with doctors in order to design things that actually benefit them. Located right here on Clemson's campus, we have Rhodes Annex, which is the newest addition to the Rhodes Research Center and is specifically for undergraduates. Here we have state-of-the-art teaching laboratories and classrooms that aid with their required undergraduate courses. We have 25 full-time faculty, all of which have their PhD and will be the instructors who are teaching your courses. We have two undergraduate advisors who work with you to plan your schedule and help you get involved in extracurriculars and research. We also have one development coordinator who's specific to our department. Her sole job is to connect you with alumni and industry and bring in outside connections to help you get internships and jobs. Lastly, we have a three to one ratio of undergraduates to graduates, meaning we have a lot of older students who love to teach and mentor the undergraduates. The Clemson Bioengineering Department has two concentration areas in bioengineering biomaterials and bioelectrical. The biomaterials concentration focuses on how the body interacts with materials and your courses will align some with the material science engineering. 
The bioelectrical concentration focuses more on the imaging and instrumentation techniques affiliated with biomedical technologies, and your curriculum will align more with the electrical engineering. Even though there are two different areas of concentration, the core curriculum within our department does an excellent job of teaching you the basic skills needed to be successful in either of the two areas. Here's a list of the required courses for the biomaterials concentration. Feel free to pause the video and take a screenshot, or you can find this information and much more on the Clemson Bioengineering website. And now, here is a list of the courses for the bioelectrical concentration. Once again, feel free to pause the video and take a screenshot. The classes listed in purple on this slide and the previous are those that are the same between the two concentration areas. And the courses that are listed in orange are those that are different. As you can see, we share a lot of similarity between the two concentration areas. At the bottom of the screen, you can see what are called technical electives. You need a total of 12 hours of these courses, six of which must be lecture-based, while the other six can come from research credit or creative inquiry involvement. You have a lot of options for the lecture credit-based courses, depending on what you're interested in. This includes cardiovascular engineering, orthopedic engineering, drug delivery, genetic engineering, biophotonics, and much, much more. Lastly, in the senior year, you can see what's called Biomedical Design 1 and 2, which is our yearly senior design capstone project. Senior design in the Clemson Bioengineering Department is a year-long capstone project where you will use the skills that you've accumulated during undergrad to design a medical device that solves a real-world problem. You'll join a team of about five people, find a clinical collaborator, such as a doctor, a surgeon, a nurse, and figure out a problem in the real world that they need solved. Then you'll spend your whole senior year designing a solution to that problem. This includes all of the design decisions, market analysis, prototyping, and validation testing for your very own device. You come out of your senior year with a device that you invented and built yourself, which is pretty cool. You also learn the whole process of conceptualization of a medical device through the commercialization of that device. These senior design projects have launched into startup companies for some students, as well as obtain a couple different patents or design protections on some of the ideas that our students have had. And if undergrad isn't enough and you want even more Clemson Bioengineering, our department offers an awesome BS to MS program where you can get a master's degree and possibly just one extra year of school. We have two master's programs available here in the bioengineering department. The first one is our Master's of Science, which is more research driven with a thesis. While this additional degree may be obtained in just one extra year, that time frame ultimately depends on the research that you're working on. Our Master's of Engineering degree, however, is specifically designed to be completed in just one additional year and is more medical device design driven, the project. What's really great about the combined bachelor's and master's program is that if you have a 3.4 undergraduate GPA, then you do not need to take the GRE or apply into the program. You can just sign a non-binding document indicating that you might wanna stay for the program and you're enrolled. These programs are expedited because you'll take a few courses during undergraduate at the graduate level to reduce the amount of courses needed to take in your master's year. The Clemson Bioengineering Department also provides extra opportunities for its students outside of the classroom, including internships and co-ops, mentored research, departmental honors, and creative inquiry teams. None of these opportunities are required for the students, but can greatly enhance your undergraduate experience and help you make lifelong friends. Internships and co-ops can provide industry experience and can be obtained through the co-op office or with the help of our developmental coordinator. These can vary in length from a short summer session to up to one year. Mentored research, which usually turns into departmental honors, can help you determine if research is the right track for you. And with our professor's open door attitude, it's so easy to get involved in any kind of research you're interested in as early as you want. We also have lots of creative inquiry opportunities from trying to grow stem cells into functioning organs to designing with medical doctors in third world countries. 
And speaking of other countries, the bioengineering department also offers opportunities for its students to travel internationally. We have a few summer long programs, which can either be lecture based like the one offered in Pamplona or research based like the one offered in Tokyo, which has also been offered in Osaka, Singapore and Thailand. And like I mentioned earlier, some of our creative inquiry teams can take you abroad to places such as Tanzania and Mexico, where you can interface with doctors and in those countries and design solutions that help them improve quality of life. But not all we do is schoolwork. Our students are super involved in other things. We have a lot of athletes, tour guides, band members, and Greek Life affiliates. Lots of different organizations and societies are available for our students to partake in if they want to. We like to encourage our students to do more than coursework. And I like to think that the bioengineering students at Clemson are some of the most social engineers you're going to find. And that's Clemson Bioengineering in a nutshell. Here's the contact information for some members of our department, our two advisors on the left of your screen, and our Chair of Undergraduate Affairs on the right. Feel free to reach out to them if you want to hear more about our program. Or if you'd rather reach out to a current Clemson Bioengineering student, choose someone from our list of student ambassadors and shoot them an email. They'll be more than happy to connect with you and speak about their experiences within the department. Thank you for watching and Clemson Bioengineering hopes to connect with you soon.